Does flavor begin only on the tongue or in the eyes, the ears, the memory? A croissant is more than just pastry. It's an experience, a feeling, and now a coded experience. In 2004, a study at Oxford showed the same potato chip played with different sound effects tasted fresher with crunchier sounds. Another study proved music shapes taste. High frequency music, chocolate seemed sweeter. Low frequency, more bitter. And in a whiskey tasting in Scotland, changing the light altered the flavor. But what if this scientific insight was applied to a bagel or a bun? A bagel with sound-optimized packaging might feel crispier. Music triggered by a QR code could make a bun taste sweeter or fresher. A bun served under blue light might feel lighter, even healthier. These are the sensory elements that shape flavor experiences. Is flavor meant to end with just one bite? Not really. Food engineering has been questioning that for years. And today, time-released layers of flavor in functional products are no longer fiction, they're reality. Thanks to Nestle and BASF's micro-encapsulation technology, vitamins and aromas are released in a controlled way depending on the gastric or oral environment. This technique makes it possible to write multi-layered flavor scenarios into food. Think of a chewing gum. First, mint, then lemon. Finally, a soft note of vanilla. This technology is still used on a limited scale, but this scientific approach might soon turn every baked item into a new kind of flavor design. Flavor is no longer just baked. It's designed, encoded layer by layer, and most of all, it lingers in memory, because sometimes a bun brings back a feeling.